The Basque people are an ethnic group living in northern Spain with unique cultural features. Mari is the central goddess of the Basque people. And after Christianity penetrated the Basque community, Mari is now a rare Basque deity that still retains folk anecdotes. The Basques say she is the goddess of the weather. She actually does not control the weather, but the weather will rotate around her according to a rule. Mari live underground, usually in a cave high in the mountains. When she was in the cave on Mount Anbato, it would rain, but in other caves it would be dry. When she leaves the cave, drought or floods will occur. Especially if she and her husband are the god of thunder and storms Sugar, the couple will give birth to a great rain and wind that will bring crops to the land. This couple usually meets every Friday, known as Akalair and Hash 39, S night or witch meeting. The couple also has children, however their children, like their two sons Atexler and Michelitz, are often assimilated by Christian pastors into dark spirits on the side of the devil. See more, Mari is often accompanied by her pet, a ram. Very few people can meet her face to face, but once they meet her, it is very likely that they will receive her blessings. For example, there is the story of the shepherdess Amezkita who lost a sheep. When she went looking for sheep, she accidentally met the goddess Mari. She obeyed the goddess, served her for seven years and was then given riches and riches by her. Another legend is that Mari became the wife of the lord of Biscay, Diego López I de Haro. The marriage between the goddess of Ireland and the kings of that island served as an act of legal assimilation to Christianity. The condition that Mari imposed on her husband was this. While he could keep his Christian faith, he could not bring it into the house. Once, the king discovered that his wife had goat feet instead of normal human feet, so he made the sign of the cross. Immediately after that action, Mari took her daughter, jumped out the window and disappeared, never to return. Other legends are simpler. For example, there is a legend that when lost in the wilderness, one only needs to shout Mari and number 39's name three times and she will appear above his head to help him find his way. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.